Mark and Sarah, a young couple, decided to grab a late-night meal at their local McDonald's in a small town in upstate New York. As they approached the drive through something felt off, there were no other cars in line, and the usually bustling restaurant seemed strangely deserted. They placed their order through the crackling speaker and pulled up to the window to pay. To their surprise, the employee who appeared on the screen had a vacant look in their eyes, as if lost in another world. Mark and Sarah handed over the money, but the employee took it mechanically, without uttering a single word. They received their food and drove to a nearby parking spot to eat inside the restaurant. Upon entering, the couple was met with an unsettling sight. The once lively interior was now eerily dim, and there wasn't a single customer in sight. The smell of freshly cooked fries and burgers hung in the air, but the absence of people made the atmosphere heavy with discomfort. Mark and Sarah exchanged uneasy glances but decided to ignore the strange occurrences and started eating. With each bite, the tension in the air seemed to grow. As they continued eating, they couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. Finishing their meal hastily, Mark and Sarah quickly made their way back to their car. As they drove away, they couldn't help but look back at the McDonald's. However, to their horror, the restaurant had disappeared without a trace. In its place was an empty lot, as if the McDonald's had never existed. The couple couldn't believe their eyes. They drove around the block several times, trying to locate the familiar golden arches, but it was futile. The McDonald's was gone, as if it had been erased from reality. Frightened and confused, Mark and Sarah returned home that night, unable to explain what they had experienced. They told their friends and family about the strange incident, but no one believed them. The small town was baffled, and rumors of a haunted McDonald's spread like wildfire. To this day, the couple has no idea what happened that night or how the McDonald's vanished before their eyes. The mystery remains unsolved, leaving them haunted by the chilling memory of the vanishing drive through order. In this spine-chilling tale, a group of friends decided to visit a McDonald's play place for a fun afternoon in the suburbs of Los Angeles. As they entered the indoor play area, an eerie silence greeted them. The usually lively and noisy playground was strangely quiet, with no children in sight. Ignoring the unsettling atmosphere, the friends began to play on the equipment. But soon, strange occurrences started to unfold. Toys moved on their own, and the echoes of children's laughter filled the empty play area. A chilling coldness crept into the air, and whispers seemed to emanate from nowhere. Growing more frightened, they decided to leave. However, as they approached the exit, they found themselves trapped. The doors were locked from the inside, and no amount of pushing or pulling could open them. Panic set in as they realized they were locked inside the haunted play place. Desperate to escape, they searched for another way out. In a hidden corner, they discovered an old vent that led to the outside. They squeezed through the tight space, crawling to freedom as the haunting laughter followed them. From that moment on, they vowed never to set foot in a McDonald's play place again. The chilling experience haunted their memories for years. They couldn't explain what had happened that day or why the play place seemed to come alive with ghostly energy. Whenever they passed by a McDonald's after that, they couldn't help but glance at the play place, half expecting to see something supernatural lurking within. The friends never spoke of the incident again, fearing that others would dismiss their story as mere imagination. But the terror they experienced that day left an indelible mark on their lives. It was a reminder that even in the most innocent and familiar places, something inexplicable and sinister could be waiting, hidden from plain sight, ready to fill the air with fear and mystery.
In this bone-chilling story, a man named Mike placed an order for a McRib sandwich at his local McDonald's in Chicago, Illinois. Little did he know that this seemingly ordinary meal would lead him into a living nightmare. After taking a bite of the McRib, Mike began to feel strange. Dizziness washed over him, and his vision blurred. Moments later, he found himself transported to a nightmarish version of the McDonald's. The once familiar employees had transformed into grotesque monsters, and the other customers had terrifying deformities. Fear gripped Mike's heart as he tried to escape, but the doors were locked. The restaurant seemed to stretch infinitely, pulling him deeper into the nightmarish abyss. He realized he was trapped in a twisted reality, a horrifying version of the familiar McDonald's. As he explored the nightmarish restaurant, he stumbled upon a mysterious figure who claimed to be the guardian of the cursed McRib sandwich. The figure revealed itself to be the spirit of a disgruntled former employee who had suffered injustice at the hands of the McDonald's. Enraged and seeking revenge, the spirit had placed a curse on the McRib sandwich, linking it to the realm of nightmares. Any unsuspecting customer who ate the cursed McRib would be transported to the nightmarish version of the McDonald's, tormented by the ghosts of the past. Desperate to break free from the curse, Mike had to complete a series of terrifying tasks to appease the vengeful spirit. Each task brought him face to face with his deepest fears and regrets, forcing him to confront his darkest secrets. With each task he completed, the restaurant's nightmarish facade began to crumble. The monstrous employees returned to their human forms, and the other customers regained their normal appearances. As Mike approached the final task, he faced the spirit head-on, acknowledging the wrongs of the past and seeking forgiveness. With the curse finally lifted, Mike found himself back in the real world, his heart pounding with relief. The McDonald's he knew and loved had returned to its ordinary state, as if nothing had ever happened. The traumatic experience was etched into his memory, leaving him shaken to the core. From that day on, Mike avoided the McRib sandwich and couldn't enter a McDonald's without a shiver running down his spine. He often wondered if the curse still lingered, waiting for its next victim. The cursed McRib sandwich remained a dark secret, known only to those who had experienced its terror. The McDonald's continued its operations as usual, but the memory of that nightmarish version haunted Mike, forever serving as a chilling reminder that even the most mundane things could hold unimaginable horrors. In this bone-chilling tale, a group of urban explorers decided to venture into an abandoned McDonald's factory in Detroit, Michigan, rumored to be haunted. Once a bustling hub of activity, the factory had been left abandoned and forgotten for many years. As the explorers stepped foot inside the factory, an unsettling feeling washed over them. The place was steeped in the remnants of the past, old machinery, discarded packaging, and forgotten memories. But there was something else lurking in the shadows, something far more unusual and unnerving. Strange noises echoed through the empty corridors, and the explorers felt as though they were being watched by something unknown. Their flashlights flickered uncontrollably, and an eerie chill permeated the air, even though there were no open windows. As they delved deeper into the factory, they stumbled upon a hidden basement, isolated from the rest of the building. Driven by curiosity, they opened the door and discovered a terrifying secret. In the basement, they found a series of sinister symbols and a makeshift altar. It was evident that dark rituals had taken place there, leaving behind an aura of malevolence. The explorers realized they had unwittingly awakened something dreadful, and now they had to face the consequences of their curiosity. With each passing moment, they felt the malevolent spirits closing in on them. Fear gripped their hearts as they desperately searched for an escape route. 
The factory seemed to stretch endlessly, trapping them within its haunted walls. As the explorers raced through the factory, they could feel the malevolent souls hot on their heels. Their hearts pounded with panic as they gasped for breath, frantically searching for a way out. Finally, when they reached the front door, a sense of relief washed over them, and their heartbeats gradually calmed. They had escaped the haunted McDonald's factory. The urban explorers fled from the abandoned factory, leaving behind the malevolent spirits and their chilling encounters. The factory remained shrouded in mystery and fear, its secrets buried within its crumbling walls. The experience haunted the explorers for a long time, leaving them with a deep sense of unease. They couldn't forget the terror they had faced in the abandoned McDonald's factory, a reminder that some places hold dark secrets, and not all explorations lead to exciting discoveries. Sometimes, the past should remain undisturbed, for it holds the power to awaken malevolent forces that should never be tampered with.